All right, today we're going to show you how to highlight a row greater than a threshold. In this example, we have a table with employee information and we want to highlight the salary where it is greater than a threshold, say 4,500. To do this, highlight the cells you want to check. Click Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, select Format Only Cells that contain, greater than, Type the value. So let's say for this example, we'll do 4,500. Click Format, Fill, and select the color you want and click OK twice. You will see the cells greater than 4,500 are highlighted. In the last example, we only highlighted the cell. If you want to highlight the entire row, then you'll need to do the following. After you clear the existing rule, highlight the whole table. Click Home. Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format Value field, type equals dollar sign, the first row of the criteria, greater than your threshold. In our example, it is equals dollar sign F2, greater than 4,500. Click Format, Fill, select the color you want and click OK twice. The rows are now highlighted if the condition is greater than the threshold. Here are some other examples for using conditional formatting. You can also use conditional formatting to highlight duplicate cells. This is how you do it. Firstly, clear the existing conditional formatting rules. Click Home, Conditional Formatting, and select Clear Rules. Clear Rules from Entire Sheet. Let's create the new rule. Highlight the cells you want to check for duplication. Click Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Format Only Unique or Duplicate Values. Make sure the Format All field is set to Duplicate. Click Format, Fill. Select the color you want and click OK twice. You will see the duplicate cells are highlighted. Another way to use conditional formatting is to highlight the row based on the criteria. In this example, we have a table with employee information, and we want to highlight a row based on their ID. To do this, select the table without the header. Click Home, Conditional Formatting, and select New Rule. Select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format Values, type equals. Select the criteria, another equals, and the first row of the column your criteria is based on. Remember to delete the dollar sign after the second variable's letter. In this example, our ending format is equals dollar sign h dollar sign 1 equals dollar sign a2. Click format, fill, Select the color you want and click OK twice. Now you can change the criteria and it will highlight the corresponding row automatically. If you want to create a drop down menu, click the criteria cell, in our example is H1, click data, and click data validation. Change the allow field to list. Click the source, select the employee ID column, and press enter. Click OK to continue. Now you can select the criteria using a drop down menu. Here's an example of using conditional formatting to highlight tasks that are overdue or nearly due. Suppose you have a table listing out some payment items and their payment dates. You want to highlight the overdue items in red and nearly due items in orange. Firstly, select the cells of the payment date. Click Home, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rule. Click New Rule, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format Value field, type equals the first cell in your criteria range, minus today open bracket close bracket, that's the today function, less than the threshold. So in our example, 
the format value field is equals dollar sign b2 minus today less than dollar sign b dollar sign 13. Click format, fill, select orange and click OK twice. Click apply and you can see the overdue and nearly due dates are highlighted in orange. To highlight the overdue dates in red, you'll need to create another rule. Click new rule, select use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the format value field, type equals today function greater than the first cell in your criteria range. So in our example, it is equals today greater than dollar sign B2. Click format, fill, select red and click OK twice. You can see that there are now two rules that are created. Click apply and you can see the overdue dates are now highlighted in red and the nearly due dates are highlighted in orange. If you change the threshold number of payment less than, the highlighted dates are also changed. If you settled an overdue item and changed the date, the highlight will disappear. And that's it for this video. Here is another video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy, so go check that one out. Thank you for watching all the way until the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.